Hey everybody, I'm Red. Welcome to Mega Man X. Now this is one of my favorite games ever. Because you don't really have the contrast of a, like a normal Mega Man game. Because like I haven't played a normal Mega Man game before. This is only like the what fourth playthrough I've done on the channel. But and if you if you have seen one, that's a lot better because Mega Man X is so good. It is one of my favorite games. It's so well done and put together, and the music is great. Everything just feels good, you know? Versus the opening cutscene, which kind of shows you, oh, that's not, this is ain't your papa's Mega Man, you know? He looks cool. He isn't just two flat colors. There's some detail to him. You can read all that. I tried to read all that, and I was like, whoa, why are we going so fast? When I originally played it. Titanium X Alloy. Warning, X is the first of a new generation of robots which contain an in innovative new feature, the ability to think, feel, and make their own decisions. However, this ability could be very dangerous. If X were to break the first rule of robotics, a robot must never harm a human being, the results would be disastrous and I fear that no force on Earth could stop him. Approximately 30 years will be required before we can safely confirm his reliability. Unfortunately, I will not live to see that day. This is Dr. Light speaking, by the way. Nor do I think anyone to care nor do I have anyone to carry on my work. Therefore, I have decided to seal him in this capsule, which I will test his internal systems until the reliability has been confirmed. Please do not disturb the capsule until that time. X possesses great risk as well as great possibilities. I can only hope for a bet for the best. September 18th, 2000 XX. Thomas Light. Ooh, that gives me some feels. Because I played a lot of the classic Mega Man games. And when I played Mega Man X for the first time, I was blown away. Like, because I'd pretty much had everything spoiled for me. Just because, like, it's it's out there on the internet. And you can't really start any. There's nothing new. But, um... Now, Dash. This is going to be our button. I, I never use the select R in that, so I'll just j make Dash the R button. Exit. There we go. And it's beating cutscene all over. Awesome. Yep. Now, there's a password system, but it, we haven't done anything yet, so game start. Oh, it's so good to be playing Mega Man again. Now, oh. You can charge up your shot way crazy much. Way crazy much? I don't really know. Look at this. Ugh. And I've already taken damage. Sweet. Now, this game is... It has a similar feel to the original Mega Man's in terms of, like, movement and stuff. Ah, gosh. Uh, I haven't played Mega Man in a while. Eh. Okay. So it has a similar feel in terms of, like, how Mega Man moves, or I guess in this case, X. It's like the movement speed's about the same. The jump feels about the same. You know, all that kind of stuff. But, okay. Eh. Yeah. Rockets. You gotta press as fast as you can. Yeah, there we go. If you destroy those bottom things, it kills them too. Oh, I can't tell you how happy I'm to play Mega Man X again. There we go. Gotta keep charging it up. Now, here comes the first mini boss. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, this is a little, a little harder than I wanted it to be. Ouch. But it is Mega Man, so what do you expect? Uh, okay. Now this is nice because it teaches you because you think you're trapped if you've only ever played classic Mega Man. You're like, oh gosh, what do I do? So then, wall jumping is the thing in this game, and that is cool. Also, there's medical medical like there's health pods down here which I don't really need, but uh, the music in this game as well. It's just it's just great. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Stop it. Then we come to. Uh, okay. Oh, goodness. Okay, boss number two. I guess mini boss number two. The little area bosses like they were in the original Mega Man game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you can stop it. You need to stop. Wall jumping once more. Kind of solidified in your brain. Hey, you can do this. Ah. Almost fell there. Hey. Alright. You guys. I forget what you do, but it's not good, so I'm just gonna shoot you. So, ah. 
Oh, yep, wall jumping in action. Stop at the bombs. Okay. This is fine. This is okay. Now, guess what? Ready? No, wrong thing. Okay, hold on. Nope, not you either. Give me what I need to make the, to make the funny. Cars! There's cars in this game. They drive you off glyphs? I've died. In the intro stage. That is disappointing. Luckily, I'm not all the way back to the beginning. I'm whatever, wherever here is. I don't have a great map. Even if it's just a 2D scrolling level. So. Oh, it's where the bee show up. Okay. A wasp things. Hey, you don't. Nah. Just, 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 uh, just run. Just go. You guys. There's some, there's something over here. Eh. Eh. Have it. Ah. Okay. Stop it. Alright. You guys. Uh, car. You can ride the cars, but, I mean, there's not much point to it other than trying to get over to the car place. The rage is here. Ah. Is this, do you give me thing? No. I need health. I need health. And something. Hey, a telephone booth. It's a very shaky telephone booth. Shaky screen, perhaps. But, um, gonna have to kill a bunch of these cars. And there's a health pack. Yes, I need that. Alright. Now, the intimidation music. Mmm. Here is the first really into Oh gosh, okay. No text. I thought there was text here. So, yeah, this is a hard... This is difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Not gonna get me. Stop it, stop it, stop it. No, and I'm trapped. Alright. And for those you don't know, that is a scripted cutscene. You can't you can't win that fight. It's like you worthless piece of scrap metal. You think you can defeat me, you know. It's just all the and wait for it. Yeah. Look at that. You could barely take him down, but then Zero comes in and just annihilates one of his arms in one shot. Ah. Oh. X is the coolest character. I wish X was in Smash Bros. That'd be pretty cool. He's like, I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat you. And X is like, ah, you shouldn't expect to. It's not, you're not designed. It's not, it's different. You're different. Not reached full power yet. The abilities, yep. Just become stronger, you know. May even become as powerful as I am. Which is really neat, because a lot of people when they first played this, they're like, oh, I want to be like Zero. And then he just straight up says that you can. So... Uh, it's really, really cool. I just, I love this game. I may just gush over it for a million episodes, but yeah, I, I just like the game. Also, I just realized something. I've messed something up royally. No, never mind. No, I didn't. Wait. Hold on. Filter. Yeah, I want this to be normal. I like the. I mean, the reduced pixels is okay, but I like the traditional looking style thing. Just my preference. You can save the, because I'm playing the Mega Man X Legacy Collection. There's like the first four games in it. Now, here we come to the familiar boss screen. Alright. We usually want to go with this Joe Penguin stage. If I can, there we go. But, um, yeah. Joe Penguin is one of the easier bosses. But he's still not totally easy, because this is Mega Man. You can't just run and gun at it. Just charge in juggernaut your way through this thing. Yeah, here's the XL though. No one loves. Oh, and it's all pixely glory. Ouch. Stop it. All the music in all these games just is so good. Die. I've listened to the music from the other Mega Man games. I actually played some of the other Mega Man X games. But, um, I, you know, they just, I guess, it may just be like getting used to the Mega Man X1 music, but, um, I should just say X1, honestly. But, I, they, they just don't compare to the original. In my opinion. I mean, just the original just... The original ones, I should say, are just good. Now. Gotta kill the bats. I used to farm here. I used to think this was the optimal farming place for killing your sub-tanks. It is not. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because there's a place in Armored Iron Dilla stage, which is much better for this. Eh. God dang it. Hold on. Eh. Now I need... Just go. Okay. There we go. Now, destroy that. Can I have health? That would be awesome. Okay. Now see, like, you can barely make it onto these platforms. Except for that one. Bad example, but... Nice health, puzzle. Awesome. There's gonna be something here, which is, look at this capsule, all cool looking, you walk up to it, and there's Dr. Light himself. So, you've come. You know, he gives you the ability to choose your own path in life. It's all this exposition about basically, it's like, ah, oh, you're, you're your own, your own man X, you can choose what you want. Become your own robot, or whatever. I think they're called Reploids in this one. Maybe it's only the bad guys. No, the bad guys are called something else. I forget. They're not Robot Masters anymore. But, there's some, it's like, oh, Mavericks, that's what they're called, Mavericks. Anytime I hear Maverick and anything else, I immediately see it back to Mega Man X. But, yeah, it's just like, oh, you have potential, step into this capsule, you can get legs. Skip into this capsule to never need to use Leg Day again. Leg Day is for the weak! like upgrades are for the strong. Now this is why I changed to dash to X, because if I can remember, yeah, you go dash, look, look how fast you are. You can like dash and like charge jump, you know. Ah, uh, it's so, so cool. You just, this game has an underlying theme of like progression, I think, I don't know. Eh. Oh gosh, there's like a million again. Kill that one. Kill this one. Please. Oh my gosh. Kill that. Don't. Oh gosh, I'm losing too much health. Nah. There we go. Back to full. Now, something I will be doing is trying to collect everything in the game. I'm talking everything. Every heart, every sub tank, every body upgrade. Just because it looks cool. And I want it. I want to do it. Now, these bits. I did. Uh, okay. Which means I'm going to have to revisit some stages. Eh, let me get out of here. Grip my ride. New Hunter Metal. Nah, how do you get out of these things? Alright, it took me forever to get out of these things, because it's not like a set button, like the jump button. Yeah, okay. There's something over here. Uh, no, it just planks off of it. Is there anything useful here? No. You have to use Flame Mammoth's weapon to kill these, and there's actually a heart, I believe, under this one, right here. So, okay. There we go. And boulder. Kill, kill the guy who throws the boulder. Funnily enough, he only throws snowballs when you're near him, but when he's off screen, he just throws giant balls. Giant cold balls. Shouldn't phrase it like that, but you know what? That's fine. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. Please. No. Okay. There we go. I have a decent amount of health, and I think all my lives. Hold on a second. Oh no, I only have one life. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to make this count. Now, as I said before, Chill Penguin isn't that difficult. And his weapon is pretty useful, so. Okay. Just gotta. Gotta get him before you can do anything. The, your corner is your safe spot. It's probably gonna. Yep. Eh. That's. That's one of the times when you can hit him. Eh. Ah, oh, shoot. I forgot. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Ah, okay. You can hit him anytime he's just kinda on the ground, not doing much. If you would stop blowing ice, that'd be awesome. You're just gonna, alright, you're just gonna huck ice at me, that's fine. I mean, I guess ice is your whole motif. Yeah, you can shoot things under these. If you're fast enough. I missed. Oh, yeah, that's where I use the dash jump. Oh, gosh. Alright, it's a little too close. Yeah, headbutt. Headbutt is good for me because he only like moves on the ground, and you can just stay in a wall and have nothing done to you. If I get hit by Chill Penguin, um, you'll see why this boss fight's a little difficult. Ouch! Yep, took half health. Okay. Uh. Uh. Scared me a second because he takes away like half health, or at least your current half health. You know. Now. Yeah, we did it. We got a new weapon. 
Oh man. Okay. We get shotgun ice. Did I skip the I skipped the cutscene. Dang it. Well it's not necessarily a cutscene, it just kinda shows you what the weapon looks like and what it looks like when you shoot it. Now. Next boss. Ugh. That's gonna be kind of a tricky one. Because I don't have too much time left in the episode. But um You know what? I will do this one. Because there's some thing in here. There's the thing here. And I have a little bit of time, so. I need to stop mentioning the time, that's generally not a good thing, but am I wrong? Am I doing something stupid? No, I think I'm doing it right. The boss order is something I always kind of forget to remember. Uh, oh, something I have not mentioned yet. See the floor? Uh, okay. You can see the floor now. This would all be lava if it wasn't for the fact that I killed- oh shoot. If it wasn't the fact that I killed Chill Penguin stage first. So like, th this would have been an insta-kill. But, since I beat Chill Penguin stage, it is not. It, I don't really know how to say that too well, but it's kind of the, as I said, this was the underlying theme of progression in this game. Maybe not theme, but like, there's a, there's a good like progression. The, the, a lot of this game uses, utilizes progression. And yeah, gimme. Now, there's some kind of secret that I need to find. Yeah, if I had the headbutt tool, I could go up there. Uh, the miners should be here. Like if you beat uh, Storm Eagle stage, Storm Eagle stage is on like a plane or like a something or other. Um, and oh shoot, I guess I missed. Um, and if that when you beat that stage, hey heart, look at that. Two more little, two or three more little pips of health, or bricks of health, I guess. I don't really know. And kill you. Kill you. Okay. Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, if you beat uh, Storm Eagle stage, then in Spark Mandrel stage, the plane would have crashed into his factory, so then all the electricity is shut off, and there's a lot of bad things that are happening. Now, where do I go from here? Yeah. Ah, shoot. Okay. I'm, I'm just still trying to work out the dash jump because, like, even though it's recommended that you do the whole set R button to, to dash button, I still am trying to get used to that whole situation because usually I just had it at A. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> nah. Yup. Nah, die. And you as well. Hey, extra life. I like that a lot. Now, you guys die. Hard, gimme. Just awaken. Thank you. Another life. Sweet. Oh, oh, I can get that. Sweet. There's, there's a lot of these like destructible blocks. Can I destroy? Okay. There you go. We got sub tank. So, what that is is that in the bottom thing. If you get health while you're full, it can fill that, and you can use that whenever you want to, like, just get extra health. Uh, there's something over there that I kind of want. Nah, I didn't want to use that button. Eh, nope, I missed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, I think up there would be... Mmm... The... What is it? It's not... I think it might be the Buster upgrade. Because there's four upgrades, well, five, in this game. There's one for each body piece. You have, like, your arms, your legs, your torso, and your head. And each of those do separate things. Hey, what are you doing? Eh. Yeah. Just gotta run past those. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, this level's good for exploring. Because... Okay. Because it's, it's it's relatively open for Mega Man level. I am... Yep. With all that evasion tactics, still didn't beat it. Mmm, die. I am bad at Mega Man. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, nope, okay. Yeah. These are like the... What were they called? Like, Sniper Joes? 
just hit it. Yes. There we go. Okay. You're gonna turn around soon. There you go. No. Stop it. Just gotta not be a stupid. That's how you win the game. Oh, boss room. Fun. Now, hopefully I'm right about this, because ice usually beats uh, the, the, the thing. The, the fire. That's what I was trying to say. Should have equipped the weapon, but that's fine. Now this stage is cool because it's like it's really big, really big and open. Mm, die. I'm gonna switch over to shotgun ice. Hopefully, okay. Was that was I wrong about that? I was. I was incorrect. Okay. We're gonna try to beat this with the Buster. If not, oh gosh. Oh yeah. No, that's not happening. That is not happening. All right. Well. Ugh, okay. How many lives we got? Like, zero? No, two. Okay, well, before we attempt this again, uh, I think it's about time that I end up the episode, so, yeah. Without much else to say, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.